dilemma right. and helping me over my hump. Yeah, right. And you start dealing with verse 2 Timothy Titus and the pastor yeah. of oh, right. yeah. Yeah. that have to do with sound doctrine, i.e. the qualification of the man of God. Right. Right. Watch the eyes start rolling. Right. Right. Watch people start looking at their watch and they're getting bored again. Because yeah. they're not getting to play by the pattern. Right. right. Amen. Smooth lips. He's got just enough edge on him that you don't want him as the main speaker in most people. Right. Because most of these guys are going to come, they're going to tell you how to have victory tomorrow. Yeah. They become a bunch of televangelists, Baptist televangelists. They're going to tell you about all the etiquette. TVN, Turner Baptist Network. And not be clean. Right. Right. Wow, right. They're going to teach you how to be a bunch of Mark Twain Southern gentlemen. Yeah, right. Well, and you can pre how to preach your way through life without ever offending anybody. Exactly. Yeah, right. yeah. That's not offered by John the Baptist. He did. He did. He said, How do you expect he was supposed to be a Christian? He was telling me about uh, preaching and the, and, the, and the terminologies that we use and the way we preach forcefully and powerfully. And he said, You do know that the Bible said, that, uh, that all men shall know you were disciples. And he, he, he felt very proud of himself, but he said, up all night before his first. <laughs> They'll know you were disciples if you have loved ones or another. And I said, yeah, but did you ever read Acts 4.13? Right. And they perceived the boldness of Peter and John. Amen. Right. They knew they'd been with Jesus. Yeah. So it's not just other people that teaches us that you've been with Jesus and that you know him. It's boldness. Yeah. Right. Boldness is not needed where everything's cool. Right. Boldness is not needed where everybody's in compliance with the Bible. Open rebuke is still better than sin. Boldness is needed where things are flying in the face of God. Amen. And there are some messages you can't preach with a smile. That's right. Amen. And there are some things that I personally, when you preach, you're going to have the same spirit God has about it, and that's mad as mine. That's right. The same Beatles got They'll say you in the flesh. Amen. But notice just enough edge right there to say, that's good preaching, but he made me a little nervous there. A little spooky in his favor. Because he started demanding that people line up. Right. He started excluding people. Right. He started saying, You're not with right. us because you don't believe the Bible. That's what we're a little scared of nowadays is being afraid. That's what we're right. right. That man took you through the New Testament to yeah. what the preacher was. Yeah, that's right. I don't remember too many even Old Testament verses being alive. That could have been. That was New Testament yeah. Bible doctrine. Right. As clear right. as the nose. Right. But it's not good preaching. No, he was even kind of about this To most people, power. to you roadies, it's not good preaching. It's, it's clear as a bell, solid as an animal. It's not the kind that gets a supper and a on the chandelier. Right. I like that too. But there's so much of that we just figure we focus on other animals. By the way, I wonder why that don't give us the one chance. I know that's right. I wonder how that kind of preacher. We got a house full of that kind of preacher that does. But you monitor the big dream. I need help from time to time, you do too, but I'm on record and say, I don't come to every meeting and say, if I don't get some help, I'm going to quit. No. And if you do, you probably need to get more. That's right. I know people like that. that they're preachers. They'll come walking into the meeting. Last time you saw them, they said, like me, said, how you doing? I said, I don't know. I gotta have something about it. I'm just gonna sit around here and listen to me something about it. I said, okay, I've been there, man. You said six months later, how you doing? Well, I'll tell you what better rough here. Last night I just need to say that guy can get his age, I need to get something about it. That makes me sick. Yeah, that's right. I can get something. Remember, we need to check in on those preachers. That's right. We can't do that. They still on some strong medication. So right. we're all right. spiritual. Yeah, that's right. That is not the testimony of victorious Christians in the Bible. No. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but power, and love, yeah, and right. sound. He gave us life and life more abundant. I'm not talking about shouting all the time. I'm not talking about smiling all the time. But God help us depression when we in our church. And you know what happens out there, Bo Nick? The more you preach like that, the more they get irritated and more going. Right. Because you're calling for a line to be drawn. And you're saying this is right and that is wrong. You don't want to hear that. This this crowd, in my opinion, that we won't talk about it all day. I'll give you mine, you can give me mine somewhere else. I'm here on that. This Kaylee Anthony thing, 
You'll see more of that because we can't find 12 people hardly in society that have the guts to be offensive, much less put somebody to death. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Right. I don't know. Yep. And so all you have to do is show a few baby pictures yeah. and get them emotional and everything and a little yeah. crying woman over here and the whole world's about going to feminine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the best we can offer leadership in America is a couple of women. And in God's word, that was a curse on the nation. That's right. To have women in authority and children oppressed. I said, that's what I want to send to Israel to curse them. Amen. It's the women in leadership. Yeah. You run around blowing your sail or tail and trunk and all you want to. You didn't get that out of the Bible, and you're not right with God if you cast the book. That's right. You're exactly right. You're right. That's a yes, you got it. That just shows how bad off we are. Mr. Obama can get saved and leave. Miss Bachman and all the rest. God help us. That offends people. Because people get nervous about this meeting about this time. Are we in the right place, honey? Why? What do we need? God forbid we tell the truth about.